Good morning. Welcome back to the Gravity Golf Channel. I'm your host, Daniel Lee. This morning we're out here again at the Orange County National, southwest side of Orlando, is home of our home of our golf schools and our training. Today I am so happy that you could join us because I'm going to show you how to use a smooth turn to develop control and power in your golf swing. If you can get this basic fundamental concept down, your entire golf swing and your golf life will change forever. Stick around. I'll be right back. First things first, most people do not have a smooth turn. The first thing you'll see is that everybody gets to the top of their backswing and they start with a pull and a flex from the top. We have to try and eliminate this. First and foremost, get the hit out of the swing. This is not the old school hit down on the golf ball. This is move your mass in the direction you want to go and everything will follow. This is a knockout punch. This is being able to have finesse in every movement because everything is connected. So being able to have a smooth turn is what allows all of this connectivity and all of this sensitivity to be released time and time again. And the way that you do this is balance. Balance is not a term that most people think of dynamically. Most people think of balance and they go, this is balance. Being able to find that central position, that may be a form of balance, but balance is more dynamic in that when you're moving. This is static balance. When you're moving dynamically, everything is, is moving on opposite sides of the equation. So that means that if I'm moving weight on one side and my arms are going out this way, I've got 10% of my body mass flying in front of me. That's still a lot of force going this way. Now I've got the rest of it that I have to control, that I have to move in order to offset that properly. So in order to have a smooth turn, things can't be going out of balance. Things can't be going in one direction and then trying to move it in the other direction. If you tried walking around and you walked this way and then this way, you would say that guy has no balance. He's probably intoxicated. Or, or you find out that that person does not have the ability to actually release themselves in the direction they want to go. That's what happens when the mind becomes inhibited is that your, your motor skills are being blocked by your ability to control the direction that you want to fall. So, and what I'm what I'm talking about this, when it, when I'm talking about this, I'm I'm referring to what what people call proprioception. And this is where it's something my dad loves to talk about. This is where your brain is always looking at things on an x y x y coordinate. This allows you to figure out where your parts are in space. And this is something that is trained through, through technique. The more, difficult, the more difficult the modes that you're working in, the higher your sensitivity becomes to that. It doesn't matter if you're learning to do calligraphy or if you're, if you're learning to paint or if you're learning a golf swing. Your ability to feel sensitivity has to do with how difficult it is to perform that task. And the more that you work on those difficult tasks, the faster that you progress. So let me, let me go back to simplifying this and breaking it back down. If you want to move your mass in one direction, start by falling in that direction. So if I want a smooth turn, it means that I need to be moving in the direction that I intend, not moving this way and then this way and then this way and then this way. You've got to feel how to have one central idea of the direction that you want to go. So if you want a smooth turn, 
you've got to feel at all times that you are releasing in the direction you want to go. The same way you would if you were going to take a step forwards, if you're going to take a step backwards. I have a distinct vision in my mind of the direction I want to go, and then I release in that direction. And this is what allows me to keep everything in balance. So when you go to swing, get an idea of where you want to go, fixate on that point, and at no time allow your mind to vary in the direction that you want to go. Walk in the direction you want to go. Feel that natural movement, that gravity can pull you in that direction and your turn will become exceptionally smooth. As long as everything is continuing to gravitate in that direction, you don't have to worry about anything else. This is why people used to say Jack could hit six inches behind the ball and still get it on the green because he had all of his mass moving in that direction. Eliminate the sway, eliminate everything else, get yourself moving in this direction. You can even get that left heel to come off the ground when you do this because you're actually stepping off of that back foot. You're moving in this direction just as you would if you were taking a step this way. So you're falling and allowing gravity to take you that way. This is what creates a balanced turn is you're not falling this way, you're not falling this way. You're getting yourself to release in the direction you want to go and all the dynamics that are going on in between will take care of themselves. All right, my job is done. I will see you guys very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching today. Go to our new website, check out our videos and articles, read about our golf schools. They're the most comprehensive schools done anywhere in this country. Come down and see us, get involved in one of those, check out our social media, and great luck with your golf game. Thanks.